Well, guys, if maybe you didn't notice it, maybe you did. But during the episode, we were wearing the first line of official Steak and Eggs merchandise. I've got the hoodie right here. I love Steak and Eggs. And we have T-shirts as well that Emmy and Tectone are wearing, as well as a couple of other hoodies, I believe, and some other T-shirt variations. So if you want to check it out for yourself and take a look at it, head on over to otknetwork.com. Yo, everybody, welcome to episode 14 of the Steak and Eggs podcast, where I am, as always, joined by Emeru and Asmongold. What up? And real quick, before we begin, thank you to everybody who checked out our Patreon. Uh, It's going great. Y'all seem to love it. So we just want to let y'all know we appreciate the hell out of the support. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So, yeah, it's been a uh, pretty interesting week. I, was I would say, say that. so. Yeah, it's been nuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to talk? Which Which do we want to talk about first? I have a couple of things I do want to talk about. We have OTK Game Expo coming up. Oh my god. Yeah, I know you're <laughs> nervous because you're gonna have to leave the house. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, OTK Elevated happened again, where we eliminated four people, and uh, we didn't eliminate. We executed. Yeah, executed. Wait, I thought it was three. Was it only three? On our episode or like... We actually did... Well, there was, was like two episodes. right? Oh, I, I thought we only did two. I don't know. We did two. Felt like three. It did. Yeah, <laughs> it did. We, we did two. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Lakari is confirmed a absolute fucking loser. Is he a loser? Yeah, because he wow. couldn't... Wow. Yeah, because he couldn't beat Miskiff's PB like he said last episode. Jesus. He will. He it it so takes confident. time. No, but he said he, he would will, do it. Though. It takes time. But he said he would do it by Friday. Oh, that's right. And he yeah. did... He, and it's no, he, Monday. He messaged me and uh, he's really upset about it. And I actually did got he, this. Did he get a new PB for himself at least? Uh, yeah, by five seconds. Uh, that's still really good. I mean, as long as that's he's improving. Yeah, yeah. Five sec- a five second improvement is a lot. I, I took his staff as tribute because uh-huh. he couldn't beat it. <laughs> it's Dude, what it's is here. Up with you and just taking there it is. people shit. The rain staff. Yeah. Oh my god! No, wait. He needs that. No, he lost. The tribal ritual staff. He lost, which means it's mine. Oh my god. Okay. The well, Tone just collects shit from people. Like, <laughs> yeah, there it is. My, he has one of my uh, airsoft shotguns. What? Which I won. I won that though. Come on, I won that. How? Because she told me to eat he, these. He like. He forced a bet that he could <laughs> okay. eat the cheese yeah. balls and not like what was it? Not drink. Not make something. a face. Not not react. I thought it was if you don't drink milk. I don't know mm. something like that. He could take my shotgun and he he just took it. Like it was like really debatable whether he actually won or not, but he just took it anyway. <laughs> he, just, he challenged himself to a bet if he could drink something <laughs> to nasty. take my shit to yep. take your stuff. Okay, yeah, it sounds about right. Okay, it's it's because things. And I'm sure everybody can relate to this. Yeah. Things are better if you take them from someone else. Yeah, of course, right? Because you remember, like, it has like that extra, like that extra value. I don't like all the things. Subscribe to these beliefs. Yeah, all all the stuff these in my house. No tendencies. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, this blanket. Oh, yeah, that's Cody's blanket. Yeah, oh, that's Jeff's pillow. Yeah, look at Whose that. Whose blanket is that? Oh, that's yours. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I had Thank to bring you. a second one. <laughs> yeah, she had to get a second one now. And then uh, the uh, the final thing that we're gonna have to talk about. Uh huh. Uh. Overwatch 2, yes. the PvE or lack thereof. That's what I was most excited to talk about. We should probably talk about the events coming up first. Uh, uh, well, I mean, if those UK Games Expo on, I think it's the 10th, right? Yep. The 10th? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, are we announcing... Uh, we going to announce Silk Song or... Are we going to announce Overwatch 3? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. As I said, I, I always get so nervous about events and everything. I will be so glad whenever it's over and I'm back sitting in my house doing nothing. It's going to be great. No, I'm, I'm stoked as hell for Game Expo. Uh-huh. Last, last year, that was like one of the proudest moments <laughs> I've like ever been like... Like to be a part of that was so sick. It did really well. I remember, like, it would, it went way better than what I had expected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, there was what? There was the, the big crab game, uh, Rocket Bot Royale that was announced that yep. I played the shit out of. Uh, that, and I still go back to, or I used to go back to it, like, all the time. It is such a fun, like, party game. But there was actually, like, good games being announced. Oh, yeah. I mean, there were a lot of them that people played and they've come out since then. And some that are still in development, but... For the most part, yeah. I mean, I think that we announced some pretty good ones, and this year will probably be the same thing. Yeah, is, Cro- is Crow Sworn out, or is it still in development? No, it's not. It's yeah, because that game looked crazy. It was awesome. It was like uh, Bloodborne and Hollow Knight. Yep. And uh, it just, oh, it was so good, but uh, no, it hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Oh, uh, I Well, are you looking forward to anything being announced, I mean, Do you have any ideas of what could be announced? Any ideas? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've 
seen some of the stuff. Like, I don't know exactly what's going to be announced yet, but I, I'm excited. Mm. I don't want to say anything yet, though. Okay. Yeah. It, though. I, I would say probably about the same because, like, we've looked at some of the videos so far, but we haven't, like, completely locked every single thing in, but a lot of them we have. You get to see sneak peeks? Yeah, there were a, a lot of submissions. Oh, my God. We had, God. like, literally hundreds of people submit games. It was mm -hmm. nuts. I didn't get to see none of them, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and the, the majority of them were extremely polished. It, it was really hard to narrow down. I mean, I haven't really been doing it that. It's been mostly, like, tips and soda. Yeah. Doing that. How much are you allowed to talk about it? Uh, well, there's this one game, and I don't really want to describe it, yeah. but it was like that one, Emmy, you remember with like the animals and like the building stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like really stupid, but I'm like, this is actually going to be cool because it's like super simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm stoked. That's, that's, the only th that's the only one I want to say. But yeah, something like that. Uh, I don't want to leak anything else. Okay. Uh, let's talk about OTK Elevated. Well, yeah. uh, I mean, obviously... I feel like we have executed a number of people so far. Yep. And it, it was it was a bit hard to do, but, you know, I think we did what needed to be done. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like the show, like, it's crazy for me to see, like, on my recommended list, some of the people from the show and see them doing actually pretty well. I think that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's no. Really impressive. Yeah, that's um, the coolest part. What, Mr. Fimple killing it? Um, a lot of them are. Yeah, Oofy's killing yeah. it. Miss, just, just not, I'm just naming a few. My skill shot's doing amazing. That one broke my heart, by the way. Why? Well, because oh. once again, I don't think I was a pussy by any means in my episode. Feel like right. I feel like I did. No, I don't think you were. Yeah, I feel like I did the no. job I needed to do. But yeah. like when when I when I went to Eliminator, and she started tearing up. Oh my god. Yep. I, Big tone. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There you go. I, I actually gifted her a hundred subs as an apology because oh I my felt. God. Yeah, I'm I'm a pussy, bro. But I at least held I mean, face during the episode. That's the nature of the show. You know, not everyone can win, sadly. Yeah. Well, I still think, me personally, I think we should bring back some of the promising losers. That is my opinion. Some of the promising losers. That's a good way to say it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of the people that were in Elevated entered my cosplay contest. That was this weekend as well, which is really cool. And that was also tough. I had over 700 entries. I could only show 500, and it, it was just tough. But you were burning through those. It's it's hard. Well, that's what you're there's, supposed there's to so, do, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I could have dragged it out more definitely like i looked back and i was like oh well we had more time but yeah it's it's tough yeah because i i was watching that stream because like mm -hmm. i went live and i was like oh shit i just went live at the same time emmy was doing her show and then i was like all right well i'll just i checked in on you every now and then you were like boom 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 next boom 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 and there was so many yeah yeah it's tough because it's gotten really big and there's like no like perfect way to do it right because a lot of people are like oh i wish we had more time to just like sit and look at them but then also a bunch of people that are like oh i entered and mine wasn't shown because we can only pick 500 of them mm. you know so it's it's tough but i mean i just try to do my best to give spotlight and money to creators that's just the goal of it i think that really i mean like you can't show every single person if the show gets big enough it's just the reality of it so i mean yeah. showing 500 people is insane to begin with so i wouldn't feel bad at all about that did you see any of the uh, the cosplays? I only saw a few of them. People tagged me on them or like they showed them to me or whatever. They're like, did you see the one? Apparently some guy cosplayed as every single thumbnail you've ever Oh, had. yeah. Over <laughs> 400 pictures. Yeah, that was the one Wait, that, what? that people kept trying to show me. 400 pictures? Yeah. yeah. He did 400 of my thumbnails. Oh, jeez. You know what's crazy is this guy is actually like, like you think like, oh, this is like some like super like dedicated viewer or something. No, like, he actually got first place in my first contest for he built this like piranha plant that was like life size piranha oh my plant God. suit and so like he was just he was just decided to cosplay my entire youtube channel i guess yeah super dedicated that's viewer that's not the term that i was gonna use yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i was gonna use i'm a little different but yeah uh no, the kaide apple was sick oh the yeah. apple cat yeah did you see that one I did not. Yeah, it was a life-size apple cat and then the uh, the scuffed Steak and Eggs podcast. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. That was a yes, crazy yeah. one. <laughs> that one actually pissed me off because the guy who cosplayed me uh -huh. just looked like a cooler version of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, come on. He had the same camo pants that he used to always wear to paint his toenails black. Oh, God. my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, because now you actually wear shoes on the show. I, I literally... I've only not worn shoes. I, well, that's fair. I have yeah. worn sandals. I only wore shoes or not, didn't wear shoes one time, but the NMP has talked about it so much on the stream that nobody is forgetting. Yeah. Which I don't I don't get. 
What? I don't get what's wrong with feet. Like, what? why is that weird? Well, it's just that nobody needs to see that. But it's like, they're just like hands, but like on your legs. Yeah, uh, but like. I don't like looking at people's feet. Yeah, I don't want to look at somebody's feet. That's nasty. I have no problem with it. Well, I don't have a problem with it, but it's just <laughs> like if there were two worlds and I could live in the world where I don't have to, that's the world I'd want to live in. Yeah, because I'm sitting here like, I just realized I've never seen your feet, Asman. Ever. It's because I wear socks. Yeah, what's up with that? My socks. Because I got some freaky. I, go. Look at that. Mismatching socks. Look at that. Well, it's not mismatching. It's that I don't know where all the other socks are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are the only two that I know where they are. Yeah, I got some freaky ass toes. I'm going to be real. Oh my God. Oh, got, what the fuck? I got like. Yeah, they should not be on camera. I got yeah. alien toes. Say what? I got alien toes. My toes are longer than a lot of people's fingers. Oh, God. What? Isn't that crazy? Oh, that's so weird. I know. I, I can like I can like pick shit up with my feet and like open doors with my feet. Well, I can do that. That's, that's not like a deal. monkey. Yeah. Oh, well, then maybe I'm just insecure oh, about my gorilla. toes and their normal size, but I've been told that I have alien toes. Jesus. It's like, no, it's like, like Megan. Gorilla toes. Gorillas use their feet like that. Yeah. Like, you ever heard of a Megan Fox? Megan Fox? Yeah. You ever yeah, heard about I've her? Heard of you, Megan Fox. you heard about her thumbs? No. Yeah. There was this whole thing back like 10, 12 years ago about Megan Fox has toe thumbs. What? Yeah. You've never seen that? No. No. Yo, Jay, is oh, there any way? Oh, God. <laughs> Should we not? Should we not? Well, hold up. Just okay. Yo, oh, we don't have internet. Yeah. Thumbs, like short thumbs. Yeah, apparently her thumbs look like uh, big toes. Jesus. Oh. Right, apparently. I just remember hearing that that's when I was so in high school. That's so weird. She's what the a beautiful woman, even if she has thumbs. No, that's what I'm saying. I I'm going to be real. I never noticed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Neither did I. But, <laughs> but, the, but the new Transformers movie came out way back then. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude. dude that's some like crazy insult shit. Like Megan Fox is like, Oh, but her thumbs are short. Yeah, no. she's <laughs> ugly, though. Look at her thumbs. No, 100%. I, yeah. I, I did what I usually do. Oh, dude, Megan Fox. She's so fucking hot. Yeah. And my brother's like, yeah, but uh, have you seen her thumbs? Oh, <laughs> not really uh, Not really the best look. It's like, okay, dude. Yeah. Just don't wanna, she is beautiful. I will say, though, you know, no discredit to her. Her acting is not the greatest. I will say that. I didn't even notice. I, I had no idea. Same. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I've seen that movie like 18 times. What, the really? Transformers one? Yeah. I've only it. seen two Megan Fox movies, which is that one and uh, Jennifer's Body. Yeah. I didn't even watch that other one. Dude, I actually, like, unironically, I love Transformers. Yeah? When I was a kid, uh, you ever heard of Beast Wars? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, a, it's like a, do you know Beast Wars? No. So it's like a, another version of Transformers where they're all, like, animals instead. So instead of Optimus, Oh, no, I do know about that, actually. Yeah, instead of Optimus Prime, there's Optimus Primal, and it's like yeah. a gorilla, which they're also making a Beast Wars movie. Or the, have you seen it? I think that, that bro, like, I, I feel like nowadays it must be pretty badass to be a kid to have, like, all these Transformers movies. Yeah. You've got the internet. You've got good video games. You've got, like, all these new things coming out. Like, it's actually crazy. You've got, like, AI that does, like, your schoolwork for you. <laughs> like, fuck. Wait, what? They're like, they're, like, they're, like, fucked up, though. Like, their attention spans and shit. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Kids only have, like, an eight-second yeah, like, attention they're, like, span. They're, like, dopamine receptors are also fucked up. Uh -huh. Like, it's harder for them to be happy. But, ah, everybody's depressed. Yeah, I guess. Or that's just me. <laughs> is there is there any benefit to that? Like having right. a short attention span? Like what is, is there a benefit? Well, I think it is, there is as a streamer, right? Because like you don't focus on things that are boring for that long because you just immediately move past them. Yeah, or I guess like if you, if it's a certain way, maybe like you can like absorb a lot of information. But yeah. if it's like useless information, then I don't know. I guess he's like, I'm thinking like if, if we as humans are becoming more used to having shorter attention spans. And perhaps that's just how we need to be. Perhaps there is a benefit, but I'm thinking of any benefit of having a shorter attention span. I have no idea what that could possibly be at all. Like not even a fraction of an idea. Well, you never get focused and worried about like one stupid comment because you always think about the next one. You know? Well, that's there's true. There's like a million comments to worry about. Exactly. You got a lot of work to do. Oh my God. I had one of those. I had one of those talks with a buddy. Uh -huh. They were, they're, they're a streamer. Uh, don't want to out them at all. Okay. But like, they literally ended stream and they call me. And right. they said, oh my God, I just had one of the worst streams of my life. Everyone in chat was being so mean. And like, I had, to, what? I had to end stream. They were like saying like, they, they were saying they're like, oh, they were like calling me like ugly and like boring and dumb. Uh-huh. Right? And I'm like, okay. So... I say, well, shit, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I end the Discord call. I go to check their VOD. Yeah. Literally one guy. And I mean that genuinely. Well, I mean, one the guy. got banned, right? Yeah, no, they got banned. Yeah. But like, like there, there was like well, one guy. What he's saying is that they it doesn't show up in the VOD. VOD. 
if they're banned. Because they would have been banned for the comment, so it removes it retroactively from the video recording. Yeah. Oh, it does that? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, maybe there was one. Uh-huh. Because I call them back after. And I'm like... I mean, you're probably right, though, that it was, like, worse in their head. Yeah, because, like... Because, like, literally, the, the chat is just like, dude, great stream. So funny. Oh, mega lol. Like, one of the happiest uh-huh. chats I've ever seen. I'm just like, I, I do not see what you are talking about at all. Like, are you sure? And then they rewatch it, and they're like, damn, how'd my brain do that? <laughs> like, how'd my brain do that? I don't know if that's an attention span problem. I yeah. think people just focus on the negative more than the positive, yeah, yeah. right? I think that's kind of like that's normal. Common. Right? Yeah. That's what a lot of people do. Yeah, I think we talked about that with Dr. K, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, that's it's, it makes sense, right? You shake somebody's hand, 100 people's hand, somebody slaps you in the face, which one are you going to remember, right? It's the dude that slapped you in the face. So I think that's kind of normal. Oh, yeah. People have done that to famous people. What slapped him in the face? Yeah, there, there was like oh a, a, I think it was a K-pop star who was like doing meet and greets. Oh, of course. And they had a fan assault them and they were like, they talked to the person after they were like arrested or whatever. They're like, mm-hmm. why'd you do that? They're like, oh, it's because I wanted to make sure they remembered my face forever. <laughs> it was like, it was, it was some girl that was like in love with him. Oh my God. That's so creepy. What is wrong with some of those people? Like, especially, I don't know why. why K-pop is, people. Yeah. yeah what is wrong with them? Like I see all the time. There's always like crazy stuff that comes out of the K-pop like fan base. I don't know what it is. Uh, probably just weebs. Yeah, just yeah. Weebs stuff. That's about it. So I wanted to ask you guys about a pretty, pretty, a uh, pretty big tangent here. Okay. I want to know whenever I'm seeming like I'm crazy or not. So I want to talk about perception being reality, and how you yourself don't exist. Okay. Okay. So I was thinking about this, and I was talking to my chat about this as I normally do, and it started off, and they were all calling me like, "Bro, this guy's a lunatic," and then at the end they were like, "Wait a minute, he's right." So I need to know if this is an echo chamber. Or if you're all kind of picking up what I'm putting down. Okay. So I don't think that I myself exist. Okay. But versions of me exist to everyone that I've ever met. Okay. And so knowing how you perceive me and you perceive me is the only me that needs to exist in order to further the connection between two human beings because there is no way you can know everything that I've done in my entire life. You can only see what you've been presented with. So understanding the versions of you that people know in order to further connection by understanding everything they know about you is like important for like intentions behind words and like getting to a deeper understanding of y'all's relationship. Is it that really that crazy to think that the more you know about somebody, the more that you can contextualize why they do things? I feel like that's kind of normal, right? Yeah, like, I feel like that's uh, normal too. It's like this could be the plot of like a silent voice type of anime movie. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like this could be the underlying theme of some shit. Yeah, definitely. But it's like it's like what I was thinking about was is there was I was I was walking on the street. This this happened forever ago, but it just really spawned into me. Um, I was walking around London, Ontario, uh, and I was with Frame, and. I just dyed her hair and he met me and he walked up to us and said, oh my God, your hair is amazing. Who did it? And then Freem said, oh, uh, Techie did it. And this guy just said, you must be the greatest human being on this whole planet. Right. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. I suck. And this guy thinks I'm a God. (laughs) And then I realized this guy's version of who I am to him is like, I am like a God. When in reality... It's it's true, but it's also not because I know that I'm not like that, but that's the only me that he knows. Uh-huh. Holy fuck, that's crazy to me. Is that not crazy? Is that not crazy to think about? Or is that like... I mean, I don't know. I think that's normal, right? There's a lot of things that people don't know about you. I mean, there's nobody knows everything about you. So it's just like, there's just always, you know, it's like Venn diagrams with every single person and like the real self is in the middle and then each person is another circle that's on the side and how much that circle intersects with the real circle is like how much they would uh how much they would like really know you yeah but like there's never going to be like a one-to-one i just i just find it so beautiful like that's why i love meeting new people like i always love meeting anybody who watches my streams at cons or meeting random people at like a bar or like a theme park because like they get to experience a small snippet of my life and that version of me Uh uh-huh is like whatever I make it out to be in that short time frame. I meet somebody yeah. for a minute. That's the only me they ever know. And that's like a version of me that exists out there. I just think it's really cool. I think, I think it's like beautiful. Well, I feel like it's like, yeah, the more somebody knows you, like, yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be nice to this person and then they're never going to see me again. So it can never get worse. <laughs> <laughs> 
There we go. Yeah, right. that seems like the idea. Of what you're yeah. Oh, fuck. Like, I'm just going to convince more and more people that I'm a good person and then just never talk to them again and well, meet new people. This is the way a lot of the Twitter people do, right? Is they hardly ever post. They don't post hardly anything. So there's very rarely an opportunity to hate on them because they don't do anything. That's yep. what I do. Yep. There you go. So, <laughs> not, not really. I just only like to post like stuff that I'm proud of on my Twitter, I guess. You don't really post a lot on your Twitter, I feel like. I just like, I just have never. I, I used to tweet more, but it would always be like, I'd be like, oh, I feel like I should tweet something. I just don't have the urge to like put out random thoughts that I'm thinking out there. I usually I don't, don't do that either. Like, I feel like the last time I tweeted was like a month ago. Like, I'll respond to other people's tweets, but whenever I'm like actually coming out with a tweet, probably not because usually most of the things that I'm thinking are not good. <laughs> and so it's like, ah, I probably shouldn't tweet this one out. Yeah, I'll keep this one to myself. I post a little or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, here's a cute, here, there's my cat. Yeah, but you're very involved in, like, communities that are on Twitter. That's true. Plus, I mean, I'll be real. I think Sears Twitter is, like, the greatest thing on planet Earth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Funny. He just posts pictures of himself. He posts pictures of himself. Every week, he tweets out that he's pregnant. Yeah. Uh, he says, man, look at all these libtards on this uh, platform. I'm sick of this shit. Sleepy Joe need to wake up, take care of this <laughs> country, man. <laughs> it's <Yep>. so funny. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part is whenever one of those tweets goes out and then people find it and they don't realize that it's a joke. Yep. You know, they're actually getting mad at him and they're like, I don't know who the fuck you think you are, you stupid ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just going off on him. Yeah, that's been like my experience when a lot of my stuff blows up on Twitter. Yeah. Like there's like the link thing I've talked about where people thought that I was a guy. There was oh, one of those tweets what? that went huge. Did I not show you where it was like this picture? It says like, my taste, taste in, in women and, taste in and my taste in men. Yeah. It was like a super jack girl, and then it's me dressed as like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is my taste in men. Oh, twinks are so hot or whatever. Uh -huh. But it's just me. And there's another one where when I posted a picture of me with my Corvette dressed as Hatsune Miku, it was like after we did an episode of a podcast with Schlatt, and I was joking about being a um, a landlord because um, I still own my house in Kansas, and my brother lives there for free, so I'm not really a landlord. I just have one house. And after that Corvette tweet got big, there was like uh -huh. a quote retweet that had 20,000 likes. I was like, I can't believe y'all are supporting a uh, a landlord, this like disgusting behavior. And I was like, yeah. what the fuck? 20,000 likes? Yeah, oh yeah. It was people shitting on me for being a landlord. And like, they were like, oh, this is like, she's causing the housing crisis and shit. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. What? I, I mean, when I saw this, I thought it was a joke. Like I thought it was funny. So I liked the tweet. That's I like the tweet because I thought this was a joke. And then they were like, oh my God, like, I got Wait, is that not, is that not a joke? No, it it's not a joke. They actually hate me. What? That's insane. I would just, if I, if that was me, I would- <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I would Same. respond back. I would say, why would I wait an extra day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. Like, yeah, fuck you. If you, the thing is, if somebody ever tries to like make me out to be an asshole, I'm like, no. This is this is not my final form. <laughs> someone, I, I can do better someone, than this. Someone like who watches my stream respond and they're like, "Oh, she's not a landlord. She just owns a house and her brother stays there." And people were like, "Does it make it okay?" Yeah, lying <laughs> bitch. I knew it. Yeah, that oh, is that what she tells people? Oh, uh huh. God. Owning property makes you a a bigot now. Oh yeah, Sorry, of course. Guys. Well, I mean, these are people. Why do they think that? Probably because they don't have a house. Probably because they live at their mom's house. Probably because rent is very high. So it's like usually yeah. whenever somebody's mad at you for something, the reason why they're mad at you is because of something that that that's happening to them, not you. Yeah, their their landlord's probably an asshole. Yeah, their I, landlord's a I dick. I'm not a landlord. Uh huh. And now a word from our sponsors. Huge shout out to Tokyo Treat and Soccer Co for sponsoring today's episode. These Japanese snack boxes allow you to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home and offer a unique experience depending on which box you choose. Tokyo Treat focuses on limited edition snacks from Japan like Sakura Pepsi and sake flavored Kit Kats, while the Sakura Co. box is a little more traditional, partnering with local Japanese snack makers to provide authentic snacks and teas. Plus, each Sakura Co. box comes with a special Japanese tableware item every month. You said sake flavored Kit Kats? That sounds crazy. This month's themes are the Osaka Snack Asian and Mochi Fruit Marbles, both which come with a limited edition box design. 
Plus, each box includes a booklet with a list of ingredients and additional facts about Japanese culture. Okay, I want to see that sake-flavored Kit Kat, but what, what are y'all interested in? Let's see. Sakurako, we got this little, it's a nice little cooking box. Yeah, I usually like Oh, they have little white peach mochi! Ooh, melon flavor. Dude! Here, ask me, take one of these. Yo, Emmy, take one. Which one? This, this should look good as hell. Oh my God, it smells so good. Ready, Emmy? It's like candy. Bro, I am not kidding you. This is one of my favorite candies I've ever had. That's crazy. Dude, I'm about to eat this whole damn box. I'm a, I'm a mochi fiend. Oh, they give us a little, they give us a little plate. That is so oh, cute. Which one is that in? Is that in a small one? Yeah, at the very bottom. They give us a fancy little plate. I'm going to put that on myself. That is so cute. If you're interested in experiencing Japan from your home today, click on the links in the description and use our code STEAK for $5 off your first order. I had a really funny experience this morning. Uh, speaking of like, like living with your parents and all that stuff, where my buddy was live on stream. Uh -huh. And they were talking and, you know, they came from like a, like a rough household. Yeah. And so they were talking about their mom. Uh -huh. And the moment they started talking about their mom, they go like this. And you'll never believe what my mom did because she's so used to keeping her voice down right, when yeah. talking about her mom in her house oh, that it's still affecting them. Oh, like, at, it, and I was like, bro, that is the coolest thing. Cause I've, I, I've never noticed that. Like, is that cool or is it? I wouldn't sad? say it's cool, but it's, you know, it depends on what the what the situation is. Well, I, I thought it was cool that I picked up on why right, they yeah. did that. Because, like, even hanging out with, like, Dr. K for, like, yeah. one podcast. And I think I'm hanging out with him again, like, in a couple oh. days, which I'm really excited about. Um, It's just so cool, like, understanding, like, perception. Or, like, uh, the big one that I love talking about is the you are the people who you surround yourself with. Uh huh. Because, like, I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that. But, like, you ever, like, have, like, a shitty friend group and then you become the fifth shitty friend? Or no? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, so like, for example, there's this thing in like psychology where they say, you are the five people you surround yourself with. If you I surround yourself in five right. successful people, you will be the sixth. If you surround yourself in five dickheads, you will be the sixth. Okay, I think yeah, that's that. generally true, yeah. Yeah. Because like, I mean, who would want to surround themselves with dickheads except for another dickhead? A hundred percent. Yeah, I think that makes sense, right? It's a self-fulfilling thing. But also, yeah, I think there's, you know, a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, peer pressure. Mm. I think so, too. Yeah, it's like, a lot of people feel like they don't have, like, the capacity to, like, change who they are or, like, really get to be who they want to be in life. Yeah. And then I really think that if, like, you just kind of acknowledge who you are, accept, like, your flaws, and then try to move forward and find people who are like what you want to be, I feel like that's, like, the best way to, like, experience true change. Because, I don't like, know. I mean, like, I, I think for me, I, I, like, growing up, all of my friends did drugs. I never did drugs. I was not a fan of it because it was expensive and it was weird. <laughs> And that was the two, in order, by the way, mainly because they were expensive. Yeah. Mm. When my buddies did drugs, I definitely did drugs. I didn't. I was, said, there's no way, dude. Yeah, they they would smoke weed. I tried it once, I and then I was once, like. Yeah. yeah, I tried weed as well. It's not for me. I smoked is, weed like two times. Both times were not good. So it was like, okay, well, fuck this. Do you always get people that say like, oh, I bet this guy smokes so much weed? Because I get that all the time. And it's like, no, I do not. Like, why do I... I don't you actually, I don't no, like no, I, I don't get that. I get drug dealers coming up to me and not even introducing themselves and just saying, okay, what do you want? That's crazy. <laughs> just like, yeah, all right, so what are you, like, what are you good for? Like, do you want, like, a, a bit, like, you want Coke? Wait, you want coming up to mushrooms? you, where? Yeah. Oh, like, whenever I'd be at college. Oh. Like, okay. they see a tall, skinny, white guy that doesn't take care of himself. And <laughs> like, okay, yep, all right, what do you want? Uh, you know, oh, my, first of all, I've never had that happen to me. But the way that you describe yourself, you would be perfect for this show that I watch all the time. Uh, it's pretty popular on Netflix. Have you heard of Queer Eye? No. So, first of all, I think it's one of the greatest shows ever made in history. Okay. I love it. It is like, my, it is like my, my, my favorite thing. A new season just came out. And it's about these five gay dudes. Okay. Um, and they find someone who's just like not taking care of themselves. Right. They, they go and they like transform every aspect of their life. Uh, it sounds like a lot of work. Bro, Asman. It, I cry yeah. every episode. Really? Oh my God, it's beautiful. There was this episode that came out in season seven and it's about this lady who got wrongfully imprisoned for 12 years. Oh my God. Okay? And oh God. Yeah, 12 years. Uh, a quote unquote obstruction of justice. Mm. Right? This is like 12 years ago. Okay, she gets let out um, on wrongful charges, right? That she wasn't actually doing that. It took her 12 years to do it. Okay. Okay. She comes out and she tries to meet her family. Right. But she hasn't been, like, touched in, like, 12 years. So when they hug her, she, like, freaks out because she's not used to, like, human touch, right? 
So th- these guys, they come in and it's very, it's very important that I say that they're gay. Like the whole show was like started, I believe back in the 1980s for like yeah, getting people. Yeah, eye for the straight guy. This was like a big thing in the 90s. Yep. Yeah, to like yeah. get people to acknowledge the existence of like gay people. Uh-huh. But now it's not about acknowledging. It's, it's about like acceptance for like the currents, for the f- current gen. Literally, it is, I recommend everybody to watch this show. It's beautiful. It, that's, it's what helped me take care of myself. Yeah. Like now I'm like moisturizing my head and like trying to clean myself, all that stuff. Lose weight, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, they go and they like, they, they give her like therapy to like understand why she's like upset with herself. Like how it's not too late to like reconnect with her family. She had like uh, dreadlocks because in prison, um, they people would try to use her hair to like hurt her. Yeah, yeah. So she kept them because they're like a defense mechanism because they're very thick and they couldn't do anything to it. Uh-huh. But then they got her to like to cut her dreadlocks off so that way she knows that she's like safe now. Yeah. They taught her how to like cook. They went to her house, cleaned everything up. Wow, that's actually this. This seems a lot more uplifting because like I remember the '90s show. I thought it was just you know, some gay dudes ho- helping a straight dude get a girlfriend, you know, by like, hey, man, <laughs> like, why don't you wear this pair of pants? No. Like, that's what I thought it was. It it, it transforms uh, their house, their career, uh, their culture, their cooking, yeah. their style. They, like, right. got her all new clothes, like, wow. make her feel like, you know, she's free. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. At the end of the episode, she, me- oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> she meets She meets with her whole family again. And they, like, wow. embrace for the first time and, like, 14 wow. years and like all the kids are just like yeah I mean we've always been proud of you but you just we weren't sure if you wanted this in your life Yeah. oh my god holy fuck it's so beautiful that's nuts uh, man it yeah, is I had no idea it was like that like, yeah. I, yeah I thought it was just some dating show or something like that dude if you ever have time to watch a episode all the episodes uh-huh. are good like oh, the, oh my god I love that show Dude, you going on Queer Eye would be crazy. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that. Oh <laughs> it would be oh crazy. Be, and teaching them how to cook. I know the first thing they would say, but I ain't gonna say it. Well, I need to teach y'all how to cook. Y'all fucked up that steak. Oh my God, that shit was boiling. Y'all just, dis- that, that was nasty. Like, my dad called me on the phone. He was like, man, they put too much butter on the pan. He said Miz was trying to set me up to look bad. He no. He cooked this steak wrong on purpose. I, I think he did. I can't believe that shit. I mean, it it didn't taste that bad, but by the time we ate it, it was cold. So like, I feel like it wasn't like a fair review. Of course, it wasn't, and 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 he did that on purpose. Uh, I don't think. I think he just doesn't know how to cook. Who is? Yeah. Oh, he just doesn't. He for sure doesn't. There's no way. I would probably say not not to be a narcissist. I would say I'm the best. I am Uh, the best cook in O2K. Okay. I don't even think it's close. Sear, Sear cooks too, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, you don't remember? Cooks? You remember we had the uh, the the Fourth of July celebration, not this Fourth of July, last Fourth of July, where I cooked all the burgers and I cooked all the hot dogs. Was I there for that? I don't know. Yeah, because I cooked one specifically for you. You you. I'm pretty sure I left that one early because I was like dead tired. No, I, I think I think you said you don't you don't like ketchup, do you? Or do you? I love ketchup, bro. Oh wait, no, I remember the burger now. Yeah, I did eat one. See that? That should be good, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. You want to know why I know I'm a good cook? Why is that? That's why I got to 330 pounds. Because I'm a damn good yeah. cook. Okay. That shit was crazy, bro. I would get all my homies fat. I remember I would go to college. Uh-huh. And uh, people would, like, bring me ingredients to cook for them. I'd bring yeah. them back to my house. I would cook them up some spaghetti to last them for, like, a week. Yeah. Because yeah, the, the, the trick is, just, bro, just put, like, a pound of butter in it. How is it not going to taste good? <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I, I'm saying? I, I hardly ever put butter in anything. Like, I don't. I almost put no seasoning on anything. Yeah, that's something it, else. What? You don't season your baked potato. I thought that was crazy. Well, I put salt and pepper on it. Oh, okay. That wasn't I mean, that yeah. wasn't in the video, so we was, thought you didn't season it. No, no. Yeah I, yeah, I put salt and pepper on it, and that's about it. Like, I don't put butter on it because that takes too long. I don't put bacon on Dude, it. That take, that what? Take, that takes, like, two yeah, seconds. Yeah, exactly. And I get so, not putting bacon on. Well, you know, you can buy bacon bits in like a shaker. Oh, I know. Yeah, in the okay. bag. They don't taste as good as the real shit, though. No, they don't. Yeah, it's just. I bad. mean, salt and pepper's still good, but oh, butter on a baked potato is so fucking yeah, good. Yeah, that shit's crazy. It's a lot of work. I used to eat baked potatoes every Okay, day. so I would like I would like to, you to explain that. Okay. How is it a lot of work? You just. Well, because like if I can go and get the food right now and eat it right now, I just do that. Right. But like, yeah. you can just keep the butter out. And then you That's just go, nasty. Why would I keep the butter out? Well, I mean, you can do that, no, though. Like, you can That's keep it in the fridge, take your fork, just, like, take a piece off, and then just put it on the potato. And yeah, but I already just, like, put it back it. in. But then I got to worry. Like, it's too much. Oh There's no way. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel, like, 
it, it, it's just it's not that big of a deal to me. Like, yeah, butter's all right, but like it's not a big deal. You don't think butter good? Butter's all right. I mean, like, sure. They make this like squeezable butter. It's in like it's yeah. like a ketchup bottle kind of thing. Yeah, that shit good. Oh my god. Butter good, salt good, pepper good. I like salt and pepper. Okay, I like a lot of that. Garlic powder good. I I, I like dry foods. I don't like really like wet and like uh, gooey foods uh, in general. You don't like sauce. Like you don't eat like spaghetti. Oh, I'll eat spaghetti. Yeah, mm-hmm. that stuff's fine. Maybe you do like a baked potato and then you do shredded beef jerky on top of it. Why not just have a baked potato? Because then you can have shredded beef jerky. Well, why don't you just eat beef jerky? Well, if you put shredded cheese on it, on the potato. Shredded cheese? Yeah, the cheese, you bake potato. What? Oh, I forgot he hates cheese. Oh, wait, you don't like cheese? I don't hate cheese. No, I get get two types of cheese. No, he just doesn't prefer cheese. Well, cheese is okay. It's just that it doesn't need to go on everything. Wait, do you eat chips? Yeah. What kind of chips? Like all of them. Like name a chip. Oh, jalapeno. Jalapeno kettle cooked. There's no I, I fucking way this man eats kettle cooked chips. Bro, those are the best. What what I what is a kettle what is a kettle cook? I think it's just where they um I'll just say it. I think they just cook it in the kettle. <laughs> it tastes good, bro. I mean, isn't that pretty much the same thing? Like what's the difference? Oh, texturally, it's like a thousand times crunchier. Oh. Like you'll chew it and it sounds like yeah, there's a like, bomb. They only going do off. it's like potato chips, right? Yo. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that or not. I'm gonna bring you a bag next episode. Chips. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Wait, do you like baked chips, like baked lays? Yeah, sometimes if somebody gives them to me, I'll eat them. No, nah, that shit disgusting. Really? Yeah, what do shit you think weak. about Fritos. Fritos are great. I used to get Frito oh Pie. Did you ever god. have Frito Pie? No. Oh, what? You never have, have you ever had Frito Pie? No. Oh my god. Like back in middle school, you would get Fritos and you would put chili. And you would put the chili on the Fritos and then dip the Fritos into chili and then eat it. And there'd be cheese on top of it. That sounds incredible. It was insanely fucking good, man. It was delicious. You ever had a Bugles? Bugles? Yeah, Bugles. Yeah, the little, they're like little cone-shaped things. They can uh, yeah. On your fingers. Very vaguely. I was young and naive. Uh-huh. And uh, there was this girl in my class. This was back in sixth grade. Yeah. And uh, we took, it was either English or math together. And she had a crush on me, but I didn't even know what that was like back then. Cause I was just, I was a little kid reading anime. I was reading Rave Master at the time because we would read it together. Uh-huh. Uh, she was also a little bit weird, but yeah. I, I was, a, you know, I was, a, I was a pretty chunky kid. I'm not going to lie. And so I love me some chips. And so she would get me to, uh, she would put bugles on her fingers. <laughs> and then have have you eat them off? <laughs> have me eat them off her fingers, bro. <laughs> and I didn't realize how weird that shit was till later. Insane. Yeah, because to me, I was just like, "Fuck, these chips are I so went, good." Did you have to get down on like all like, fours, like like six? No, I mean, oh we, my god, dude, I I had like a similar story of just like not knowing what the fuck was going on. Yeah. There was this kid that had a, a crush on me, but I similarly like didn't really like realize what was going on, mm. but. So I was in orchestra, so every day after school, I'd have to go pick up my violin right before I went to the bus. And he'd always be waiting there at my violin case. And every day after school, he would give me $20. And I don't know where he was getting this money from, but he gave me $20 after school for like three weeks. What? Yeah. And then eventually I was just like, why are you doing this? And he was like, I don't know. I just want to. And eventually he asked me out and I I said, okay, because I was like, Okay, like, I don't want to be mean. But then, like, (laughs) one period later, I realized, I was like, wait, I don't want, I don't want to be, I don't want this guy to be my boyfriend. So I broke up with him one class period later. That's crazy. But by then, he gave me $300. What would you do with the money? I don't remember. I probably, like, spent it at Taco Bell or something. smart. That's sick. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Like, (laughs) yeah, I... (laughs) I, I don't think I really had any like as a guy, you probably don't have that type of experience very often. I no. think that's oh, I, I do also want to say I wasn't just like accepting it. Like I kept being like, no, like I don't want it. I don't yeah. want it. Like I don't want to take them like I feel bad, but he'd be like, I'm not leaving until you take this. And I'm like right. trying to go to the bus. He was your first viewer. Yeah. He was doing twenty dollar TTS. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I can't imagine that. Like just someone being like, Do you want to go out with me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I remember I talked to one of my friends about it. And I was like, I I'm like scared to talk to him now because now I have a boyfriend. She was like, Well, then you should probably break up with him. And keep in mind, this was like 20 minutes after I said. Oh my sure. god! So I broke up with him on the hallway in the way to my next class. What grade were you in? Sixth. Oh Jesus! You know what's crazy? That dude one million percent remembers you doing that. Oh no! He's I feel pro- so bad. He's probably fucked up. I was dumb. I didn't. I didn't know better. I, was I totally forgot about this until now. We used to have something called Slap Ass Friday. 
and it was exactly <laughs> what it sounded like. And everybody participated in it. Slap like girls right. and guys and everybody. Teachers didn't. It wasn't that kind of a school. But it was just the girls and the guys would do this. And they would run around on Friday and slap each other's asses. Like, I'm straight up serious. In like 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. It was like a big... It was like there was that and... Was a cultural event. Yeah, yeah. It was a cultural thing. <laughs> so walk me through a typical slap-ass Friday. <laughs> Everybody would have to stand with their back against the lockers. What the... F because everybody would just uh do it. And like the teachers... Like at first, the teachers were like, guys, <laughs> come on. But then they were just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Like, yeah, just let them do what they want. And uh, yeah, by the time it was, I was in seventh grade, like nobody gave a fuck anymore. The teachers just let everybody do it. That's the coolest wow. shit I've ever heard of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it? And everybody, would, <laughs> yeah, everybody would do it to everybody. It was just the, the fucking craziest shit. Like looking back on it, especially nowadays, like, oh my God, I couldn't even imagine that. It's just all out war. Yeah. There's anything, and I want to go, I want to go back to Queer Eye real quick. Yeah. Uh, cleaning y'all self up and taking care of y'all self. Like, yeah. do y'all have like any routine? I'm assuming you don't, but maybe uh, you do. Well, uh, let's, How you take care of yourself. Let's see. I had to, so I was getting like a, a little bit of allergies whenever I would go to bed. And it was like, I wasn't like really feeling super great waking up. And it's like, what's really going on here? And so I eventually took all of the pillows and blankets off of my bed. And apparently there was mold in some of my pillows. Oh That's my not good. So, yeah, it was kind of weird. get lung cancer. Say what? Lung cancer. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> so, and so, yeah, we put all the pillows outside and, uh, you know, I went to uh, wash all of them. And so I've been in the process of doing that for the past couple of days. Well, that's that's, nice. that's a big step. Why don't yeah. you just like throw them away and buy new ones? Well, I'm like, like, well I mean, money. I've had the pillow for like 25 Dude, like, years. You that's have, like my pillow. But like you have money. Like, why don't you just get like new nice ones? Well, I mean, I already have nice ones. Those are the ones that yeah, I have but like, for the mold. But right? there's like mold. Like, I don't know yeah. if you can like fully get it out. Yeah, I, I probably am going to get rid of like one or two of them. But the rest of them, we're going to keep them. But I mean, like, okay, so you're taking a shower. Yeah. What's the first, what do you do like in the shower? Uh, well... Um, let's see. Let me think about that. I mean, like I have, so I am extremely greasy yeah. and I've gotten to the point now where I have like, I've thought about upgrading to like a wire brush yeah. to get all of the grease and shit off of my head. Okay. Yeah. Dude, that's, oh my God. You can't brush grease out of your hair. Oh, it seems to work. But like, do you like body wash, shampoo? Yeah, do you yeah. think? Do you think it's special? Shampoo? Yeah, no, I mean, I just wash you, my hair. That's about no, it. I'm, I'm telling you, you can't brush grease out of your hair. It just spreads. Oh, it seems to work for me. I don't know what else to do about it. Then. Here, I'm, I'm gonna walk you through what I do. Okay. So first of all, I preheat my shower for a minute. Okay. I turn the shower head on max. That way, when I walk in, it's very steamy. I do that. I go in and I let the shower head run. On this little rainbow soap bar I picked up from this place called Lush, which, uh -huh. by the way, is the greatest store on earth. It's all soap. You walk in there, you get hit with a wave of just like oh, yeah, exotic, Lush, Lush is great. exotic fruits. It uh -huh. smells so good. And I, and I let it run in this little bar. <laughs> Don't tell them about the exotic fruits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> yeah. But I walk in and it smells like a rainbow. Okay. Immediately, I grab my shampoo. Sell some blue because I don't have hair, but flaky skin on my scalp isn't good. Shampoo yeah, my head. That's the thing I got, yeah. Yep. And then I grab uh, my beard wash. I put my beard wash in. Uh -huh. While those two are coating and soaking, I brush my teeth at the same time. Then I get my body wash, and I body wash the fuck out of myself. I body wash hard. Get my little loofah. Go go crazy. Yeah. Clean myself up. Spit my shampoo, or spit my toothpaste out. Rinse my beard. Uh -huh. Rinse off my head. Good to go. I get out of the shower. And this is where the real, where the real important thing happens. Next thing I do is I get beard oil, rub that in, get me real shiny, and then I grab uh, cocoa butter, uh -huh. slap that shit on my head, and I go from a forehead all the way back, and I and I, I moisturize like absolutely everywhere because cocoa butter is like the greatest thing on earth. And now a word from our sponsors. Well, for most of us, learning a second language in high school was not exactly a high point of our academic careers. I uh, learned a uh, sign language. The only thing I know how to sign is uh, water because that's what I needed to sign to leave the class to go get a glass of water that would take 20 minutes. What about you guys? Did y'all take anything? I learned that? Spanish in middle school. It was pretty difficult. I don't remember a lot now. Okay. Uh, the teachers attempted to teach me Spanish for five years. Yeah. I don't know shit. 
Well, how convenient. <laughs> because, well, now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an actively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Did you know that Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go? Their expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. You can learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, business, and more. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts and their learning or their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, video stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. How cool is that? Right now, you can get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash steak. That's babbel.com slash steak for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel is language for life. Do you, do you fuck with cocoa butter? Um, I don't use cocoa butter. I have a pretty simple routine. Like I do have a skincare routine. It's just like yeah. face wash, moisturizer, shampoo, conditioner. I have like a body wash with like, I don't remember what it's called, like salad, salad like acid or some shit. I don't know. Acid, that's got to be good. Yeah. It's and, like acid supposed to remove the uh, stuff off your face, right? Um, yeah, sure. I, don't I think know. so, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Oils. I wanted to give everybody watching this a, a, a little tip that I learned from Queer Eye that's been changing my life. If you got dry feet or if you got dry hands, here's what you do. You moisturize the hell out of your hands and your feet and you like leave them like gooey. And then you take a sock and you put them over your hands or your feet. Uh-huh. And then you go to sleep with that on. Okay. And then you'll wake up and your hands will feel like new hands. Really? Like, it is crazy. Lotion sock? Straight up. Okay, that sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds really I weird. I just wanted to make sure I heard right. Yeah, but like, like I, I like dunk my feet in cocoa butter, slip my sock on. It's going to feel weird. Uh-huh. But when they wake up and like, if you mess with cocoa butter, let me know in the comments because I'm very curious how many people do this. Slap it on there. I recommend cocoa butter to everybody. Oh my God, it's the greatest. I don't know. I, I love taking care of myself now. Really? I After that it. show? Yes, I love it. I feel like, okay, so what else do I do besides that? I mean, I never wash my face because I feel like I, I, I've always had the mindset that like, so the skin that you have, it's supposed to be like that, right? Like your body has evolved for millions of years to exist with these types of chemicals on your body. And so I don't ever put anything on my face. I don't ever do anything different with my face at all. I just have it exactly the way it is. I don't have any like real blemishes. Mm -hmm. I did, the truth is, I did used to shave the acne off my face. Okay. That's crazy. I, I get what you're saying, but then by that logic, we just wouldn't shower at all. Uh, well, water is natural, right? You're supposed to have water. Well, here's what I'm thinking. And is, also, like, if you, soap? what's the longest you've ever gone without showering? Like, Three days. I I mean, like for real though. For real though. Yeah, like three or four days. I I think, I think for me probably like two weeks is probably the longest I've ever gone. Wait, what were you doing? Just like playing games? Oh, being depressed. So oh, okay. you, <laughs> you know, I mean, I use showers as like when when I'm depressed. Like I use showers and baths, so I've never yeah. had that problem. No, I do the same thing, but like it was like it was like it was like ten years ago. Oh, you know, where, where water bills were a thing. Yeah, and I had to worry about I mean, that shit. Depression when. Is like hard to take care of yourself sometimes. So, yeah. so here's the crazy thing is that after about two or three weeks, you actually stop getting dirty. Oh, bro, don't tell me about the stink cycle, bro. No, it's not. Wait, what's the stink it's cycle? It's not the stink cycle. Okay. It All is. right. So after that, it's like you the time goes up and like you start getting more and dirtier and you know, more time, more dirty, more time. And what's crazy is that eventually it starts leveling off. And you stop getting dirtier because it's like you just can't get any more dirty than you already are. And then the crazy thing about it is then you start getting clean because your body begins, <laughs> you your don't. body begins cleaning itself. And over time, like if you go back and you watch my video of like after I took a shower, like, a, you know, a month after I didn't take a shower, like if you look at my skin, it is absolutely fucking flawless. 
And like the only problems that I have with my skin are, again, where I shaved the acne off my face whenever I was a kid. I, I mean, you're right to some degree yeah. that a lot of skincare is kind of a scam or like some skincare products that are sold are meant to fix problems caused by other skincare products. Exactly. But you should still <laughs> clean yourself. Well, uh, yeah, I, th I think the whole- That's why my, my routine is simple. Cause like, I just like cleanse, moisturize. Well, what I used That's to it. do is I would- better that way. I, I had like a razor blade and I would just shave like all of the Dude, dead skin off my face. Every time you that is crazy. That, that's crazy. Yeah. That is insane. I think that, no, it felt great. But it's like a snake. Yeah, but so here's the big difference. Yeah. Right? So you're, you're not a snake. <laughs> Right. That's the that's the crazy part. Well, the thing is though is like so like uh, no, but like uh, it, it, have I like do I have any pimples? No, your skin actually looks really good. Yeah. Exactly. Now, like one like I I get a pimple or something like that on my face once every 7 years, okay? Is it caused by stress? Uh it's no. Well, random. recently like apparently like you know I was telling you about like how I didn't ever like clean my sheets or like my my pillows or anything like that. Oh yeah, that'll fuck and they your were face molding up. Over. Yeah. Well, like my pillows were so um like they were wet. W why were they wet? Well, from mold and also from like grease and well, like Where did the uh, where like did the wet, oil. wet come from? Did you like spill something in your bed? No. No, well, I mean, yeah, but like that wasn't why. Um I, that is Totally why. Because <laughs> no, no, it was like on the other it was on the other side. That was like a blanket and it wasn't a big deal. And I I you know, no, because I had spilled like this was like a couple of months, like a month ago. I wanted I didn't want my eyes to adjust to the light. So I walked out and I used the bathroom with my eyes closed and I came back and I knocked an entire full drink of soda on my blanket. And then I didn't really clean it up. I just kind of folded it over and got like the really wet parts clean. But like, yeah, it, and it was it was really bad, and so like eventually, like the pillow was, uh, like what what what's the texture? It, it felt like the the pillow felt like a basketball, like the pillowcase. It did. was leathery. Yeah, kind of, and I, I was like, okay, this is, like you know, like I, I I like kind of have like my my nose is a little bit itchy, and so I thought, okay, I'm gonna clean up uh, all my stuff, and so I I've, I've cleaned it all up now, but it was like, damn, that shit was uh. It was fine, but it was like, it, it felt weird to sleep in that. You unlocked a repressed memory for me. What's that? Remember how I told you, I just told you about how I didn't shower for all that time period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think about the other things that happened here. Uh, so I stole a guy's Tempur-Pedic mattress. Okay. Full disclosure. How? Well, because he wasn't using it. It was in his house. So I just took it with my buddy in the truck. So just went into yep. it. How'd you get into his house? Right. So, well, he, he was my homie. Right. But I just took it. I didn't ask. I just took it. I don't think he was, I didn't think he even had a problem with it. Okay. But it was like the nicest mattress I ever owned. And the problem was, uh, my brother, he brings his dog over. Uh -huh. And his dog ate a big chunk out of the mattress. Okay. So there was like a crater in the bottom right corner of it. Who cares? Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you who cares. My cats. Because my cats. They sat in a little hole. They sat in the hole. Yeah. But then they thought, oh, it smells like animal. So they pissed in it. And they shat in it. Now, the problem was, this is the only mattress that I had. Right. And I also didn't want to touch their piss and shit. So what I would do was... Left around the piss and shit crazy. all. Yeah. Yep. And the thing was, is that I was like, all right, well, it'll just dry up and it won't smell bad. Yeah. Then it happened, they just kept doing it. Right. I'm, I'm gonna, I slept in a piss shit mattress for like two, three months. Yeah. It's because like, yeah, it didn't smell too good. Uh -huh. But dude, Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Are They're really nice, right? Do, do y'all have one? Uh, I have like a, a pillow topper, like a Tempur Pedic topper. Yeah, I have yep. a mattress topper. That's super yeah. nice. You should just get a whole mattress. It is nice. It's like, yeah, but it's like three thousand dollars. Okay, but yeah, but so here's the thing. I'll just full disclosure, you might call this a millionaire take. I don't care. I think you spend eight hours a day in this fucking yep. thing, you should invest in it. I, I think I think Dude, I'm going to be real. I probably spend 12. I probably spend 12 because I will wake up in the morning and for the first two hours of the day, all I will do is read stuff. Phone scroll? That's it. Yeah, I'm just on my phone the whole time. I'm sitting there watching YouTube videos, reading posts about myself, like reading my YouTube comments. And then whenever I finally get up, like I've been awake for like an hour at that point, two yep. hours. I didn't I, say anything. I do the yeah. same thing. Hour or two of just browsing, trying to get caught up on the day, everything that's happening. Uh-huh. I cannot tell you how much, like, if you think about it, some people spend $20,000 on a car. 
right? They drive that for an hour or two to get back and forth and work. Why would you not spend like five? Maybe you can't afford it. That's totally okay. But in investing a decent amount in a good mattress to just get quality sleep, it, it is life-changing. Because I used to wake up every day in pain. Well, see, like that's the difference is like for me recently, I had like a problem with like my fucking shoulder, but like it's, that's not a big deal. Yeah. And uh, other than that, I never have any problems sleeping. Like I, I, like if I'm in my own bed, this is like I've slept in this bed for 20 years. It's the same bed. The same bed. You ever rotate it? What? So you're supposed to like flip your mattress every six months. Well, I have a mattress topper. I don't have to do that. Okay. No, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. And you wash that? You wash the topper? No. Well, I, I would, well cause I have a sheet over it. Well, I would, I would probably, I would probably wash it. Why? Well, because I mean, things are going to get through the sheet. Yeah. But like that, the, but I mean, how are they going to get through? I mean, it's probably uh, not though. I mean. Well, you, you just talked about spilling a whole cup of soda. But that was like, there was like four blankets in between that oh and like the God. topper. Yeah. I, I would probably, I would probably get a new mattress. Me personally. Know. Yeah. What if what if I were to just get you a new mattress? Would you use it? No. Because then I would have <laughs> like, what if the thing is like I have a mattress right now and I have been sleeping on that mattress for 20 years and I am comfortable. And I, I, I feel good laying down. It's very comfy. It's very soft. Nobody has ever complained about my mattress. And you know what? It's gonna stay that way. You ever hear like a like a like a pet, like a cat or a dog? No, I mean to be fair though, I do have a futon upstairs. It's a king size futon. Yeah. And they go uh, crazy. it is probably harder than than this. It is like straight up like super fucking hard. Yeah. And I remember like I, I carried it all the way up the stairs and I still don't even know how I did that because it weighs like fucking hundreds of pounds. So it's insane. So here's my take on that. Like cats and dogs. Right. They uh -huh. eat the same kibble yeah. every day. And right. they're like, every single time I get out of bed, they're like, oh, master, master, please give me my rocks to eat. Yep. And they jump around, they get all excited. Yep. Exactly. And then I go to their bowl, I dump them their little rocks and they're like, oh, pr praise be you. These rocks are delicious because uh -huh. it's all they know. Right. And then first time I ever give them like a shrimp or salmon, they're like, holy fuck. What have I been missing out on? Good God. Uh -huh. And now my little cat, Eggy, ever since he experienced this little kitty soup that I get him, he walks me to the closet every morning and he barks at me until I get him what he wants. But isn't that a <laughs> service? <laughs> but what I'm isn't that bad? Because if you never know the luxuries of life, you can never miss them. That's, that and, is, and it's that is like, so true. Yep, exactly. And it's like, I, I live it in, you know, my shitty house with my shitty car to be fair, I do have a nice air conditioning machine now. Uh, but wow. besides, oh, I mean, it's fucking hot in my upstairs room. Like, yeah. I will, I have ended streams. I have banned people because of the temperature in my room. Like, I get unironically mad whenever it's do you hot. you not have a, a fan in there? Well, it's, still bad. It, it's like, it's still, number one, it's still bad. Like, straight up, there is like, okay, so this is my room, right? And there's like the drywall, and then there's the 100 degrees. Uh, like that's it. Yeah. No insulation, nothing. I had the same thing. And so I, I had to, I had completely got everything redone this my, winter. My room is so hot. Yeah. I started trimming in, uh, in, in tank tops. And the problem I is, can't do that. I know, I know yeah. I, I have a very itchy head and then I scratch my head right. and then my chat sees my armpits, which I don't like. Yeah. yeah. And it freaks me the fuck out. So I got, I got to fix my fucking room because it, it makes me so self-conscious, bro. I hate it, dog. Oh my God. Yeah. I just, I could not deal with that. Like, I mean, the heat in, like I can deal with cold because you just put on more blankets, right? Yeah. You can just put yeah. more and more uh of like a like an you can become your own personal igloo. Yeah. Right? But like the problem is that with the heat, you can only take off so many clothes. And like then you're just hot and you're sweaty. And it's like, especially if you're greasy, it's got like that slime. Oh, it's like no. oh, yeah. Well, no, you know what I'm talking about. Am I yeah. wrong? Well, I have the opposite problem. My room is freezing, but I have a I have a space heater. Yeah, Were you a space heater? Yeah, I have a space heater. Is that new? In my streaming room. No, it's always been there. Fuck. Yeah, is it? Yeah, like it's just always running. That's why the sometimes um I'll like short the power in my entire room because of what, my space what heater. What brand is it? It's just some like thirty dollar. It's one not on the. It's not Vornado, is it? Vornado? <laughs> I don't think so. What the fuck is that? Why? I'm pretty sure Vornado is French for house fire. Okay, because I had one of these Vornados and it caught fire like three times. Oh, well, mine's never caught on fire, but one time I actually left a cosplay wig in front of it 
and like it was getting really hot, but nothing happened. Oh, yeah, dude, crazy. Vornado sounds like a badass like Diablo ability. Yeah, it is. You know, like like blow up a corpse, summon a Vornado. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's Vornado. Oh yeah, Vornado. Gotcha. I still can't believe that shit's coming out in like two weeks. Oh my god. Same. It's like yeah, a little bit under two weeks actually. And now a word from our sponsors. Yo, today's sponsor is Display. A one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will. Plus, it only takes 20 seconds to install with zero power tools, zero damages, and zero frustration. Trust me, I know that because I've done it myself. This plate has over 1.3 million designs. That's crazy. 40,000 artists and delivers to 56 countries. Uh, Jay, can you pull up the display website? Oh, look at that. They have Genshin on it. Isn't that so cute? Wait, do they, do they have any Honkai Star Rail? Or no? Oh, they have a, oh, they have a little pom-pom, dude. Aww. Oh, I love that guy. Wait, can you zoom in on that pom-pom in the top left? Oh, my God. He is so beautiful, bro. I love <laughs> pom-pom so much. He's my favorite. I got y'all something. What? Pick this out. Ooh. Oh, my God. Those are good weight. Asmund? Yeah. Holy shit. Look at that. I mean... You know the name of this character? Melania? Blade of Mikola. <laughs> You'll know her name. Oh, dude. I got Nilo, Candace, and Sinnoh from Genshin. You know why I love this? So pretty. Because this, this, is a, this is my characters. Oh Bro, my don't these feel crazy? Yeah, these are cool. I have like six of these in my house. I love them a lot. This plate is all about collecting your passions and using them to inspire yourself. And with a four to five day delivery time, that's really quick. There's never been a better opportunity to grab one for yourself. Plus... Oh, sick. You can use code STEAK for 20% off, one or two displays, or 30% off. 30%? Damn. Dang. Off three or more. That's code STEAK at checkout. And thank you, Display, for sponsoring today's episode. Thank you very much. I still just got to ask. Y'all Y'all just want to put, put this on the table. What? Y'all ever want to go mattress shopping, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, right. Because I love, I love that shit. And I, I should probably upgrade because I've had mine for about four or five years. Yeah. I'll probably get something new. If y'all I have slept on other people's mattresses and they are not as good as mine. I Oof. have the, I have the best mattress. What? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you were to try my mattress, you would realize that. I, I've tried those, those like $5,000 mattresses and like they're nice. I have a mattress that's like. $500 off Amazon yep. and I'll have two layers of toppers. I have one that's like a foam layer uh -huh. and then one that's just like the plush layer and oh my, I, I fucking and love it. And there it, it is. It's like heaven. It's like a cloud. Well, there you go. And I, I spent like under a thousand on it. That's awesome. See, the difference between me and you is um, you're small in the oh, world. Oh, true. When you're taller, it's harder. Yeah, small yeah. people, the world understands. Mm -hmm. Me, the freaks, the yeah. ogres, the world hates every car I'm uncomfortable in. Right. I drove a fucking Chevy Spark. Yeah. As a six, I used to be six foot eight. Fun fact: I am now six foot six because my spine is so fucked up. Uh -huh. My Chevy Spark, I, it was like a clown car, bro. I was drive. I, I drove thirty two hours straight from uh, El Paso, Texas, to London, Ontario. Did that seven times straight. Didn't sleep uh, for each not not two hundred and eighty hours, like uh -huh. a thirty two hour trip. I was driving like this the whole time, like a depressed old man. <laughs> oh my god, I don't, dude. The world is not built for tall people. It is so frustrating. I can't shop at malls. No clothes fit me. They don't have shoes in my size. Like, the, the pants don't go down far enough. It, dude, it is so annoying. Like, I wish I was, like, 5'10". Yeah. 5'10", 6 foot. Like, that's, like, the sweet spot where the world understands. You know, like, the funny thing is that if you were 5'10", you'd be giving a speech on how if you were 6'6", six, six or 6'8", six, it would be totally different and, you know, you wouldn't have to be looked down on and it's like, you know, you wouldn't have girls tell you no just categorically. You know, I'm pretty sure it's one of those grass is always greener on the other side situation. I would much rather have to deal. Okay, because here's the thing. I don't even know if this is true. Yeah. But I still fear monger in my brain. Apparently, the taller you are, the shorter you live. I think that's generally true. This? Yeah. Yeah, I would much yeah. rather deal with, why, first of all, why the fuck would I want to be with any girl who turned me down because I was 5'10", 6 foot? Well, I don't know. That's that's that, crazy. I don't think that's even, like, as common as people online. I don't is think it, it is really? at all. Like, I don't know. I mean, like... I, I really don't think it is. Like, I mean, sure, like, to a lot of people, being taller might be an attractive trait. But, yeah. I mean, for, for women, there's also things where it's, like, 
there's like a million different physical things that can make you like more or less attractive to someone. Yeah. You know? No, I, I have definitely been told by women like, I think it's really hot how tall you are. Obviously, yeah. that's like a thing. But like if if yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's a thing, but like I yeah. don't think it's like as crazy like short guys can't get girls. For sure. Anything. I think that's just another thing on the internet. We're like, oh God, if only I was six one. I'd be swimming in babes. You know what the <laughs> funny fucking thing is? Is uh, have y'all ever heard of those like pickup artist type guys? Yep. Oh my God, yeah. And so there was this <laughs> super cheesy pickup artist guy. And these dudes were asking him, they're like, so does dick size matter? Does height matter? Does all this stuff matter? And the weirdest fucking thing happened. This dude actually gave the best advice I've ever heard. I'm ready. It doesn't matter unless you think it does. I agree. Can you believe that? I'm glad you said because, oh my God, some of those pickup artist guys They're are just so bad, so, right? So bad and so cringe and just like, I feel like make these guys' lives so much worse. It's like the shit that they say. I, I don't understand. Like, I've watched some of the stuff that they say and it's like, this is, like, there's no way this actually works, right? Like, there's just no way. And it's like, meanwhile, you have other people that just don't do any of that stuff and they have girlfriend and it's fine. And so I don't understand how I don't get how guys get attracted to that stuff. It feels very weird to me. I think the problem is, is that a lot of people focus on one night stands. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking right? the same thing. Like they don't, they don't actually, I don't think they even want an actual relationship. Exactly. They don't want an actual relationship. They're they just like, want to hook I up with a girl. An, I want an yeah. easy way to hook up. And I can't do that because I'm not like this 10 out of 10 six foot four model or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, like when people want to meet up and like beat guts. Do the sideways monster mash. Yeah, obviously physical traits come into play, dick size, all that shit. But in reality, if you just get someone to like you for who you are, and just think about it from your perspective, if you liked who someone was, you're not going to be like, like, oh, I love everything about this person, but mm, their tits are just yeah, a little bit too yeah, small for me. Yeah, that's a lot of those guys that are like, oh, it's because I'm not six, whatever, that I uh -huh. can't get a girl. They yeah. they um look at the, the gender they're attracted to the same way. Like, yep. like I only want to get with a girl that's like a, a model or whatever. Which is fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah. I mean, they don't even they don't even that. realize they're being hypocritical. Like they're just hurting themselves. Yeah, I agree. I I I will watch some of the pickup artist stuff because I just think it's funny to see what people say. You know, and like the kind of <laughs> crazy stuff people will say. Yeah. It's like, okay, you've got it. And it's like all of the um especially I think the funniest thing is how you have like these like fucking 40 year old dudes that are trying to coach 20 year old dudes on how to text a girl. Oh my God. That's so, oh, it's weird. so funny, man. <laughs> I love it. I mean, if it helps, I mean, I, I guess it's okay to have confidence, you know, but it's only bad whenever you, uh, you know, it's like the, the toxic stuff, you know? Yeah. Like other than that, it's, I don't, th I think it's pretty much harmless. Well, yeah. so what did you, uh, I mean, what did you have the questions about with Overwatch 2? Okay. Yeah, we were oh, going to talk about that. Uh, that I was literally had a bunch of questions. Yeah. Okay, first, like, so I did see the, like, dev stream where they talked about it. So first, did they ever say what happened, like, why it was canceled? And then second, I wanted to ask if you think it's, like, the fault of, like, the team that was working on it. Like, they weren't able to, like, do it right, or is it, like, a budget issue, like, not their fault at all? Because if that is the case, which is what it kind of seems like, I feel really bad for them that they're kind of, like, the face of shouldering all that blame. I don't really know. What it seems like to me is that they probably released the idea of Overwatch 2 too early. Because mm -hmm. so, like, Blizzard, this is actually their third time fucking up an FPS game. Because yeah. they had an FPS game. It was actually a third-person shooter game in like the early 2000s called StarCraft Ghost. It was a playable demo and everything, and it just got completely scrapped. Then they wanted to make another game called Titan, which was kind of like Destiny. Like, let's just, you know, just to, to be make things simple. Yeah, I never well, Titan failed as well. And then they merged Titan and turned Titan into Overwatch. Okay. And then they took Overwatch 2 and they were saying, okay, well, now we're going to introduce the features that I guess Titan might have originally had into Overwatch 2 over time to develop it into being a PvE or PvP MMO, like an FPS. And this also didn't happen. So, like, whose fault is it really? I mean, I would say it's probably everybody's fault. Like, there's no way that it's not the development team's fault at all. But the odds are that it's a, it was like, Really, like, it's probably the upper management that's making bad decisions and not funding things properly. Mm -hmm. And, like, there were people at Blizzard saying that, like, so a lot of companies now are making people return back to work instead of, like, working from home. 
and this created like a massive crisis at Blizzard because a lot of people were like, fuck, I don't want to have to go back to back to the office. And uh, the people were leaving. They had to make apparently crisis maps of like what games they could even ship at all because of this. And this is like not even exclusive to, to Overwatch as far as I know. So uh, is it like a time or is like, is it a time thing or like it's like they're like, we don't have enough money left to pay people to finish this. Or is like they just look at the whole thing and they're like, this is like too bad to even put out. Like it's, it'll just be disappointing. Like what? I think happens? it's probably a little bit of all of the above, right? And it's also probably the concept just didn't really play out well in the actual game, right? Everything was supposed to be good. It was supposed to sound like this. It was supposed to be like this, but it just didn't really play out the way that they had wanted it to. And like the thing is that if you have all these different characters with all these different like talent trees and everything like that, you think about like, for example, like a Valorant, you don't have talent trees for each character. Each character just does these things and that's it. So whenever you have so many different levels of customization, you have to balance all of those things against each other. And like Blizzard tried that with Warcraft and like the, not this expansion, but like the previous two expansions. And all they did was spend time micromanaging little bits of balance between, and they could never actually like make the game better because they were trying to play on the back foot all the for, time. For PvE, does it matter that much if one character is like way stronger than the other? Of course, because if one character is way better, well, what happens is like then everybody, everybody either wants to play that character or doesn't want to play with you. Like, let's say it's a tank, right? And uh, I'm thinking like Orisa was like really good at the beginning, right? You remember that? Yeah. Yep. And like Orisa was really good. Roadhog was not really good. And guess what happens whenever you're in a PvE encounter that, you know, this is going to be like a 25-minute investment and you have somebody who's playing Roadhog. Well, now you're mad at them because they're setting you at a disadvantage. Right. And like the same thing happens in Lost Ark and in WoW where it's like if a certain class does more damage, like as you said S-Fan complained to you about Classic WoW for like two hours. Yeah. Probably talked to you about like how Red Paladin was bad, right? Yeah. He... Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? He said, I feel like every class scales but a rut palin or something like that oh yeah yeah i know exactly what he's gonna say and so anyway uh guess what happens the, you know why s fan went to raids why because he was the guild master that's right he was the guild master and he was the guy that was in charge of everything because nobody would invite a rep paladin on their own because they were garbage and that's just how it is so the meta matters a lot because if you have like massive imbalances, well, guess what's going to happen? Well, then you're going to have games that are, uh, you know, people only want to play with that one class. Well, here, here's it's probably why the I, same thing in League, right? Here's where I don't. Yeah. yeah. Here's where I don't feel bad for the devs at all. They they were the dumb fucks who promised to do this shit three years. No, because apparently, years. so this is what I heard. I don't know if this is true, but what I heard is that Bobby Kodak wanted to announce Overwatch Two to get past the bad press from the Blitzchung incident which was the um, free Hong Kong thing, right? Because yeah. it had happened just like a couple of, like a month before then. Well, it's just like, regardless of why they did it, they are the ones who made the idea to announce it. And I feel like they could have just not done that because when you, pro I mean, it's not like it's a, like, sure, maybe it was a spur of the moment. Maybe it was to get past this or that, but like, you can't promise something as a corp, a triple A corporation and say, yeah, we're going to make this whole game. But that was the whole point of Overwatch because now Overwatch 2 is just Overwatch 1. And the worst part about it is I spent so much time defending it. Like, I know. I was mad at Blizzard because Emmy got sponsored five fucking times. Actually, it was more than that. But yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like double digits. And, and, and I went and I'm fucking defending the game. I'm saying, guys, PvE is coming. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't get upset. Never fucking sponsored me. Never sponsored me. Now, I did call the game shit, but I'm sure you probably said that too, right? No. Oh, not once. Oh, the game is shit. I genuinely, like, I was really happy playing Overwatch 2 when it came out. Like, I liked the new balance stuff. I was having fun. But the issue that I had with it, and I was I played it for, like, three months when it was released, but it just felt like there was, like, nothing new, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. It didn't feel like yeah. there was, like, a progression. Like, even in games like League where, like, they're not always, like, doing, like, huge balance changes and stuff. I mean, they do way more often than Overwatch, but I just didn't feel the sense of, like, progression that I have with other competitive games. Why not? Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like even in League when you're hard stuck, it still feels like every game, like, 
so I don't I don't know what it is. Like it, it might be like the length of the matches or something for Overwatch, but it just like doesn't hit the same for me as other competitive games. It doesn't. Shooters. It doesn't. And I, I don't know, man. It just feels like the majority of Overwatch games are decided at like champs, like which happens a lot for League Two. Yeah. But just like one bad player can throw the entire game. I don't think there's really that big of a way to carry every game as Overwatch. Like it's so hard. Like yeah. obviously you could. Maybe your Widowmaker and on spawn are like bop 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 bop. They're all dead, but ridiculously hard to carry. Uh, the majority of games are decided by like, I guess like placement by like blowing your alt at a certain time. But I don't know. It literally just didn't feel that different from Overwatch 1 for me. And it's, I was I was one of the players because I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I'm pissed off. Because like yeah. I was looking forward to that mode so much. Yeah, I was excited for it too. Like, like for me, like always I like PD an mode. asshole because I was saying, guys, it's coming. It's going to be fine. I was the <laughs> biggest Overwatch 2 defender. Yeah, but. And now I'm an idiot. But that, that, that's not your fault at all. You know, like doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to YouTube commenters. Well, those YouTube commenters need. Uh, yeah, they need to go suck a dick, bro. Well, what, I don't know. Was fuck. it a common sentiment at the time for people to be like, "Oh, Blizzard won't finish it"? Because if you were saying like, "Oh, they will finish it," how common was that for people to say that to you? Every people say that Diablo Four is going to be pay to win. People say anything bad that Blizzard could do, according to the internet, it might as well have already happened. <laughs> yeah, people do yeah. not like that company, no. which uh. You know, there was, I saw a clip this morning of S-Fan, uh -huh. and he said, guys, why are you calling Blizzard bad? Why are, you, why are you saying that? Guys, they're not bad. They're fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Which fucking killed me. But, I mean, let's be, I heard what, the, the battle pass for Diablo 4? Uh, the battle pass is fine. But like yeah. the well, like the over. Well, what, is, what so like, is it? What is it? Because I'm excited for D four still. Like I'm stoked. Oh, Diablo 4 is going to be great. Everything about Diablo 4 is good. Everything about Overwatch 2 is bad. It's, Dude, Blizzard, it's that simple. do you remember that year that Blizzard announced the mobile Diablo and people were like really pissed at them? And then a week later, Riot was like, hey guys, we're doing a Netflix show. We're coming out with a shooter. Yeah. We're doing a fighting game. We have a card game now. Yeah. And it was just like 10 fucking things. And it was like right after Blizzard's, I was like, oh my God, I would be so embarrassed. Yeah, where they announced like the shooting fan. game, the fighting game. Yeah, they announced Valorant, yeah. their fighting game, a bunch of other stuff. They announced Arcane. Uh-huh. Which so fucking good. I think they might have announced the MMO then. I don't remember though. I think that they showed a, like a little bit, but they like didn't yeah. really say anything about it. Yeah, I feel like Riot's an amazing company. Well, Riot's doing very well, and like the reason why is that they they basically do what old Blizzard used to do. Yep. They took an existing idea that worked really well, and then they just do it better and they perfect that idea. Yep, it's literally that simple. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Blizzard tried to do that with Heroes of the Storm, but it was just too late. Yeah. Which sucks because I will say, I love Heroes of the Storm. That is a good game. That is a yeah. good game. It's a five stack only. Playing solo on Heroes of the Storm is, is like playing Smite solo. Holy shit, it's so bad. By the way, the new Vishojo skins came out for Smite. Yeah. Oh my God. I haven't played that at all. I've, I've been playing with like, uh, cool. I play with um, uh, Snuffy, Nianners, Aethel. Um, oh my Are God. Are any of them even in Vishojo? No. They, they oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like High Res know? too. Yeah. High Res does like a similar thing where like a lot of their games like. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever play Realm Royale? Yeah, that's a chicken oh, one, right? That game broke my heart. What? Why? Because so, it was so good, and then they made all these changes. I don't know exactly why. Like I think they were trying to be more like Fortnite, and it just, I don't know. Like it just completely died. It made me so sad. Do you know? Uh, uh, fucking Michael Sony on Twitter. Yeah. He was the best player in the world in that game and fucking died. <laughs> Dude, I thought that game was going to be like... He won a like... $100,000 championship and the game died a month after. That's so I felt sad. so bad for him. Dude, that game was so good that I, I don't know what the hell... No, it was, it was a yeah. good-ass game. That, the, but that, the that is the one where you kill people and they turn into chickens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that shit was so funny. Oh. That game was so good. Dude, what you know, did they... Oh, my God. It, it was just... I was playing with Nianners in Cole. Uh -huh. And then I was playing as Nianners in the game. Mm -hmm. That's got to be the coolest shit ever. Yeah. Like having your character model in a video game. Yeah. That is insane. Because because Miz has his uh Miz has his little egg. Yeah. On top of a pound on uh whatever the uh Thanatos. Like that, that's one thing having your egg on it. That's cool. I I mean I would love that if that were me, but like it's legit just Nianners and 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 Sylvie and like Vey, all yeah. of them. It's the coolest some shit. Crazy collabs. They've got like the Transformers one. They did an Avatar one. Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah. Ninja Turtles. 
Avatar: The Last Airbender. Like I remember, Emmy, I was watching you post it like a Transformers one or something like that. Yes, I, yeah. I, I would play Starscream. Yeah, yeah, it was some like robot, and I was like, how the fuck? Like, how'd this get in a smite? <laughs> well, I remember, there, wasn't there like an OTK smite tournament? Yeah. Who won that? I don't know. God, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you win? Yes, I, I sir. <laughs> Bro, that shit was crazy. Uh -huh. That was one of my favorite moments of my whole life. Uh -huh. Because you wonder why? Because everybody was giving Miz shit. Yeah, everybody. They were saying. For inviting that one guy. Yep. Remember that now. Yeah. Because, because he was playing. It was Dave who had like 2,000 hours. Uh -huh. Then he corrected. He's like, actually, it's only 800. <laughs> uh, and then he was playing with three players, uh, some of which were Grandmaster of League of Legends. Yeah. They're like, what's the point of you to watch the tournament? We know who's going to win. And I'm like. All right, time to save Mrs. Ass once again. <laughs> and I grinded. Um, I grinded myself for probably about 25 hours. Oh, my God. Uh, and then I did 15 games of practice scrims with my friends from VR Chat. Uh -huh. I was supposed to have, fun fact, Rob was supposed to be on my team, uh, Rafflegator, uh, and um, another, uh, another chick uh, whose name was uh, Autumn. They were supposed to be on my team. They drop. Uh, something doesn't work out with Rob. Autumn drops uh, maybe like a day before because they were just not coming to practice. Replace them last second with just more of my buddies, Buff Pup, uh, Suki, Lawman, and Strippin. We get about 15 games of practice with the majority, maybe five games of practice with the whole team. We sweep that shit. Uh -huh. Seven and oh, zero yeah. losses, bro. Damn. That shit was crazy. And the best thing was, I'm not gonna say I was the best because I wasn't. Lawman was the best, uh -huh. but I was I was fucking killing it. You were doing what you needed to do. Yep, as I always do. Speaking of which, I think there's something else that we need to do. What? I, I think I think we need to thank everybody for watching. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it, everybody. It's been uh, what episode is this? Fourteen. How the fuck do you fuck you know that? Because Tectone said at the beginning, I remembered. That's crazy. That's crazy because I said I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> at all. It sounded about right. Though. So yeah, yeah 40 was episode right. fourteen. Oh my god! Thank you guys all so much for the support. Uh, support's been crazy uh, on YouTube videos, on Patreon, on Twitter. People are always commenting, telling me how much they like the show. Thank you guys all so much. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we will see you all on the next week's episode. So until next time, boys. Peace. If you ever want to do a Ouija board, let, I firmly believe that they are real. And it's, it's subconscious. Starts, like, it, yeah. the thing is that, why is it that somebody from the dead never tells you where, like, buried treasure is? Because <laughs> they don't want your ass to get it because they're selfish. Well, what are they going to do with it? They're dead. They just, like, want the, they just don't want you to have it. I don't think that's it. I, I think, <laughs> I, I feel like there's all, oh, I can predict the future. I can talk to people with spirits and stuff like that. Okay, well then, what, what, what do the spirits say the winning lottery numbers are? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead. Let's put this down to the test. Yeah. And I don't think so, man. I don't. So you don't believe in spirits at all? Or yeah, of course not. I, I, I don't. Well, okay. I, 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 am, I am open to the idea that spirits could exist. I am not open to the idea that we have any sort of way to pierce the veil to contact them. Mm -hmm. like okay, I, that's fair. Yeah, I don't, and I don't think anybody has even accidentally pierced that veil. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's happened. I think people are just imagining it.